good morning, everybody. I am Danny Bailey. I am the Texas uh, oil spill specialist, as well as part of our Sea Grant oil spill and science outreach team. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. You are currently watching our oyster seminar. So this is gonna be part one. Uh, we have oysters adapting to a changing gulf. And so our first discussion today is gonna cover the role of oysters in our estuarine ecosystem and the threats facing them. So we have three wonderful speakers, as you can see they're joining us today. Um, and we're, they're each gonna teach us something fabulous as we go through how, employed, how important oysters are to our community. Uh, before we get started with them, I'm just gonna go a little bit over the background of who we are as a team in Sea Grant, as well as throughout the Gulf, so you have a little bit of background of, of who we are. Oh, let me put that on slideshow mode for you. There we go. Did everybody see that? We're good? Beautiful. Yes, All that's right. great. Excellent. So, Sea Grant. Sea Grant is this fabulous organization that is a connection of multiple universities to share the coastal ecosystems, sustainable fisheries and aquaculture, resilient communities and ecosystems, and environmental literacy and workforce development. So we are a team of 33 universities. Um, we're non-advocacy, so we take um, only peer-reviewed science and use that as well as uh, federal reports. Uh, we are federally and state funded, um, and we are science-based. So we try to make sure that everything we have is clarified through multiple different sources if possible. Uh, we focus on research, education, and extension, and we have over 50, year, 50 years of doing this. So we really enjoy doing it. We really enjoy spreading this knowledge and getting a chance to share all of the science throughout uh, the world. Uh, we do have a, an opportunity to partner with lots of different people. So anywhere there is a coastline, including the Great Lakes, you have a Sea Grant person to help you out, um, and we'd love to hear from you. So in the Gulf, you have this fabulous team. So you have myself in Texas. Uh, you have Miss Emily in Louisiana. You have Missy in Alabama and Mississippi. We have Monica in Florida. We have our fantastic communicator, Tara. And then we have our leader, who is Steve, who makes sure that all of our wonderfulness uh, happens and gets through. So this is your team throughout the Gulf. Uh, we all work together. We all each have an individual focus as well. So we try to make sure that we're specialists um, and share all of our research, our resources, and make sure that we're getting the best information out to you as possible. So we are funded um, through the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiatives. This is about $500 million of non-penalty funds from the Deepwater Horizon spill. So it comes from BP. Um, we are managed by GOMA, and we have an independent research board. So our focus is to take these funds for both science and outreach and try to reach and cover a number of different theme areas that you can see there so that we can learn as much as we possibly can from this event uh, and pass along as much science, outreach, research, and perspective from it that we can. So it's been 10 years. Um, and we love sharing all of that information with you. And we've even got a little bit more to come. So a lot of the information that we release, uh, as I said, we take from peer reviewed journals or government reports, uh, and we put it out in different formats. So we have outreach programs, such as the one you guys are joining for today. Thank you very much. We have our website, we have a number of videos, we have past seminars up there, uh, up on our YouTube page as well. And we also create a number of different fact sheets. So if you've got a question about oil spills, I think we've probably covered it in one of our publications and we are more than happy to share those with you. Uh, you can access them actually at that website on the bottom of your screen. Uh, and also, if you ever need physical copies, let us know. We can get those to you. We want to be able to reach as many people as possible. So with that and sharing our outreach invitation, we have today's speakers. Uh, we're going to have Miss Sarah Pace first. She is from the University of Southern Mississippi. We have Dr. Jennifer Pollock from Texas A&M University and Dr. Sean Powers from the University of South Alabama. 
So I am just going to stop sharing my screen. And while I do that, just a few housekeeping things. Um, we are so glad you guys could join us. Uh, we're going to go through each of the presentations and then do a question and answer panel at the end. Um, so hold on to your questions or feel free to type them in the chat box or the comment box. And then when we get to our question and answer panel, um, I will read them out loud and our speakers will answer them and we'll try to get to as many as possible possible. Um, so please, if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, just type them into our chat box and we'll be able to see them and handle them as we go through.